this is our first video so this food is looking amazing my channel I am rude but honest okay we're gonna dive into like why that is my username so we might be pending okay so let's see here 2,000 years later one eternity later later that same evening okay I'm sorry I'm, I just got hungry. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angel. Um, thanks for coming by. Um, this is our first video, and why not? It's a get to know me video. No, God, please, no, no, no. How did I lose weight while still eating what I wanted? That's what we we're gonna talk about. So. So what I did before this video, I had some little gummies and they were quite delicious. So those boys are hitting. So this food is looking amazing. Okay, so our food today is from Cane's. Uh, okay, so first, when I first started liking Cane's, I didn't like canes. You're like, what? Okay, so when I first started eating canes, I did not like it at all. Excuse me. Oh, it's those gummies, they're fighting. Um, I was just really eating the chicken by itself. And then I'm like, oh, it doesn't really have any flavor. And everyone's like, it's in the sauce. It's in the sauce. It's in the sauce. It's in the sauce. And I'm like, okay, dude, it's in the sauce. I'm gonna try it with the sauce. So it kind of grew on me over time. And now it's busting. Oh, now it's busting, it's busting, it's busting. So uh, I'm gonna tell you how I have been losing weight while still eating this. So, but stick around, cause I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me. I like randomly dancing sometimes, so. But this is a mukbang. Mukbang, did I say that right? Mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang, okay. So look at this crispy tender. Oh. Ooh, okay, so they said it's all in the sauce. This is the sauce. So that's why I had it. And then they were like, you have to get it with a piece of toast. Like if you don't get it, you have to have it with a piece of toast. And I'm like, okay, cool. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have like a whole sandwich, but I've been having some treats and some little gummies. So I really wanna bite. So let's take a look. <laughs> Low key, I did it for the camera, but I kind of did it for me. <laughs> mm. Like, it's so good. Like, I got my daughter on it, and I always have to do like extra sauce for her and I doubled it because it's my sauce that was good okay I'm smacking I am so sorry I'm so sorry I'm so sorry mmm I'm done mmm mmm You know how like you really wanted something because today's my cheat day. I've been waiting all week to record this video 
because today's my cheat day. Oh, dropping gems. Today's my cheat day, so this is what I have chose to eat. <sighs> Dude. Okay, so who is this girl that just has been to appear all over your pages? Who is she? Is she a mom? Is she a business owner? Is she a loving, caring spouse? I'm single, but just putting that out there for anyone that wants to know. Um, <laughs> I mean, is she this person that loves brunch and loves to work out and well, actually, I'm kind of all of those, and that's what my channel's gonna be about. Um, you might have seen me with fitness, you might have seen me with my treats, you might have seen me just on your Explore page, on your Twitter feed, on your IG page, but that's me. I'm all those things. So, we're gonna figure out, like, how the heck I've been losing weight and still eating this. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. So, I'm all those things. So, I love cannabis and everything that cannabis brings about. Hashtag Cannamom, A. So, like, I just feel like it just gives me a little bit better clarity and focus. I'm definitely not an indica lover that makes you go in the couch. I wanna be up. Um, I'm a business owner, so I do party rentals. I have different things like throne chairs, backdrops, things like that. I really got into it because of my daughter and like the whole DIY movement was going on at the time. And then people were like, can, excuse me, can I borrow that? I'm like, yeah, for $5. They're like, okay, bet. All right, can I borrow that? Yeah, price gone up, $10. Yeah, boy. I'm a mom to a beautiful little girl. She's super amazing. And you have to have all the energy in the world. So, and that's another reason why, of course, we find reasons to work out. She's definitely one, of course, to do that because you want to be able to move around because, girl, I'm that fine mom. I'm and make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I'm pretty cool if you're stuck around this line you definitely should be your friend so with me being a mom and a business owner um when did we have time to work out never if you understood all of that you definitely should subscribe like Da, 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 and tell me what I said in the comments. Mmm. I'm gonna put in that sauce. Like, the key to this is chicken to sauce ratio. If you have too much chicken, it goes back to being a little bit bland. Put a little bit more sauce. Oh, it's perfect. First of all, shout out to Kane. So if y'all seen this video, I think y'all should give bigger cups. What am I gonna do with this little bitty thing? Hmm? What do I do with that? I am a sauce lover. You make people want your sauce. And no, don't tell me I can order more. I want it to come more. For being a can of mom, uh, entrepreneur, mom, um, just fucking cool mom all around is that I I like reading. Do y'all read? I read. Like, do I read? Okay. So honestly, I enjoy um audiobooks. Girl, I'm a little bit ADD. That's how I'm able to get a lot of my stuff done. Mmm. Okay, so cannabis and my ADD really just helps mellow me out. That's hence my little name, Mellow Vibes. That's my brand. 
Why? Because we're going to be mellow through everything that we do. When we're working out, when we go out, when we go live life, girl, like, we are mellow. We are cruising. Why? Because slow and steady wins that race. So, that's how I really started to read. I read this book because I wanted to get better with my time management. Me having a business, me being a mom, um, I'm just, you know, just really kind of juggling all that around. And it really made my life feel kind of chaotic. And it wasn't chaotic. Like, I can't control it. I just needed a... I just needed like a schedule so now that i have like kind of like a schedule out do, 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 i'm like cool what else can i do to help and then y'all remember clubhouse when clubhouse was around yeah okay so for a brief moment they dropped some gems they said hey go read atomic habits what hey click the link it's gonna be in the bio in the description box um so you can buy it promise you it'll, ch it'll change your life all right so i read atomic habits i had it on audiobook so when i was cleaning doing things i can listen to it one of the things it taught me was be one percent different one percent different every day and stack habits so with me having my daughter go to karate i'm like so what do i do I was out in the, I was out in the car, I was on my TikTok, I was, you know, because shameless plug, my TikTok has over 100,000 subscribers, so please go like, follow, share on my TikToks, um, and so that's where my career started, by the way, I love TikTok, that's kind of where I started, definitely a kind of influencer on there, um, trying to integrate the rest of my lifestyle brand, because... I was, it's just not legal everywhere right now. Um, but anyway, with that, I just used to be in the car, like editing videos, doing that. So I'm like, what can I do to maximize my time? So what I chose to do was, it's a gym right here. I like working out. My pants ain't fitting. I really want to, you know, working out has always been part of what I wanted to do. I just got lazy. I'll be honest. I'll be honest, y'all, I got real lazy. Just, ugh, excuse me, excuse after excuse. I got to clean. I can do that tomorrow. I'll just do it after I do these dishes. I'll just, I need to fold my laundry. Let me get this done, and then I'll go to the gym. I don't have any gym clothes. I've heard it all before. I was those excuses. And I allowed those excuses to rule my life. And I was like, nah, dude, I don't really want this to rule my life anymore. So what I did do, let's show that picture. This is my very first gym photo. I was not matching. I took a picture outside. I was like, I'm just gonna show my day one photo and I'm gonna take it. You know what, even in this photo, let me tell y'all something. I set up my camera, and it was my very first day. This guy worked there, came up to me and was like, why are you on social media? I hate females that be on social media all the time. And I'm just like, what? dang, you know, like what? I'm just thinking inside of me, what if I wasn't confident enough? And this guy just walked up to me and was like, why are you taking pictures of yourself? And then I would have been like, dang, I don't want to, I would not want to record myself. Y'all wouldn't have been here. Y'all wouldn't have been here because I wouldn't record myself again. Because I did stop. Like, after he did it, I didn't take any more pictures that day. Like, outside, like, with my outfit. Because I was like, dang, you know. But then I looked at him, I'm like, um, I mean, if you don't like it, um, you don't have to look at it. You don't have to follow me. You don't have to do any of that. I said, you walked outside to tell me. He was like, oh, you don't have to get an attitude. I understand. Like, joking or not, you didn't know what kind of space I was in. And, like, I still see him to this day. He's cool. But at that moment, that's why I didn't tell anyone. At that moment, it was just kind of crazy. But that's why I didn't tell anyone when I started working out. I did not say I was working out. I did not tell. I was like, I'm not telling anyone I'm going to the gym. I just did not want all those people to get into my head. You know, to just 
discourage me with the little effort I might have had. Because in the beginning, I'm going to show y'all. Y'all see the videos. Here's one of some of the first ones. I was slow. Oh, my God. I was like, run. Girl, you didn't even like running. Because I was... I used to be fast, like I could run, but people used to talk about my top heaviness and I'd be like, okay, I don't want to run. Okay, they bounce too much. Dude, this is my body. I I hate to say I had to wait till I was 30 to be like, that's my body. Dude, you're not going to over-sexualize it. If, that, if you do, you can be an adult and hold it to yourself. Because do am I dumb? Like, no, I know people probably look at it because of that. I'm not dumb, but... Do, you don't have to go out of your way to tell me what it is. You know, that's a whole nother video for a whole nother show. But okay, let's get back on topic, girl. Woo! Woosa, woosa, wasa. Da 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 da. It's the one and only Digo Double G. No, go, no, go. Da 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 da. I'm back. Alright. Okay, so that was the video, and that was the fit photo that I first started. I then started taking pictures. I was like, okay, this is just gonna be for me. I'm just gonna post it for me. I think the first one that ever went viral on here was on TikTok, not TikTok, Instagram. It was, this is me, this is for me. And they were like, oh my God, you're running on a treadmill? I'm like, yeah, cause baby, the fastest way to get it off for me was running. I gotta, I gotta put myself in a calorie deficit to do that what i know i don't even eat that bad for me i don't eat that bad as i'm doing this but shameless plug this is really good so i'm just saying like i just know i needed to burn more than i was losing like i needed to get up and that was me simply just getting up because i'm not exercising i'm at home I'm not having to walk nowhere. Groceries being delivered. I'm gonna put all this weight. Mm-mm. I was like, okay. So with some guy change. So, like I said, I got up. I was like, listen, I'm gonna go in here an hour out of my day. They're not gonna do anything. But I didn't go in there at first saying an hour. I say that now, but when I first started, no lie, when I first started, it was five, ten minutes. I said, just go in there for five, ten minutes. The very first day, I walked, I just signed up for the gym. Second day, I went in and I sat on the bikes because I was scared of the treadmill. What? I just sat on the bike and was just pedaling my, pedaling my little thighs. Just <sighs> dying. I was like, all right. Nigga, you said you were going to start running. You said you're gonna start running. So I you know I did. I was like, all right, let me walk. Let me get on there. I was like, okay, I did. Okay, today I did 10 minutes. All right. Next time I came, you know I did? Five minutes on the bike. Five minutes walking. Ooh, my legs. Oh, it was so tight. Why? Because I wasn't really walking anymore. I'm shameless. I like disclaimer my muscles hasn't been used like that so it felt real uncomfortable real uncomfortable and i'm like then you start getting your head like why didn't you start before why did you let yourself get like this why you girl you used to play this and do that you was at girl you might have been all of those things but today i'm in the gym so all those thoughts for me did not matter anymore did not matter did not matter what I did before did not matter because it was already done I can't change that I can't change how I got here but I can change now how I leave here then I did five more minutes then I made myself proud because I told myself I would only do five minutes then I did five more I said oh my god Yes, you did that. I got home. You did that. You did a little bit more than you said you were going to do. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I celebrated that <laughs> when instead of coming home, oh, I didn't do an hour. I didn't do 45 minutes. It's not about that. 
it, it was about that I got out there and I tried and I was moving. You know what happened the next time I got out there? Because now my mindset of thinking is just go. 1% different. I did five minutes, I'm going to do six minutes. But in my mind, I'm going to be like, okay, I'm going to do 12 minutes. Now I just did 15. But it was no pressure when I didn't make it. But so after that, that's how I just kind of slowly moved up. Okay. We're going to go deeper. If y'all want to hear more about that story, let me know in the comments and we'll go a little bit deeper into it. But I did mention another gem a while ago. I've already dropped like three gems so far. So the other gem is the 1% change. Now that is the three that I've seen for me over these last six months that got me from this picture to this picture. Okay. Before you come for me in the comments and be like, you cannot outwork a bad diet. You cannot outwork this and outwork that. Yeah, we fully understand that. We're going to go through all of that through this channel. But getting started, if I go, if I take someone that has just been eating this and you're feeding that part of your brain that that's that dopamine that this is a reward and i've just taken all of that and just stripped away all your rewards for two weeks you're gonna crave this so bad that makes people that's not ready mentally relapse and then relapse harder so what i'm doing if that's not if you're looking for extremely strict workout decal i mean uh workout fitness thing i might not be the channel for you and that's okay peace and blessings like i was super happy that you stayed this far but for me well i'm gonna tell you what's happening is that we're gonna see my lifestyle and how we're gonna keep this off because we're building a really good habit and so with my habit is i might not eat this whole thing you see i don't i don't just talk to you and i order this whole thing I'm going to probably stretch this out the whole day. Why? But I didn't start like this at first. At first, I said, no toast. Then I was like, ah, okay, I might have toast, but no fries. Then I was like, oh, no soda. Oh, I don't need a large. I'll take a small. So that's the other gem. I do 1% change in everything that I do. So this meal today is a cheat meal. And even this, like that whole drink won't even get drunk. Um, all this food, I'm going to probably share some with my mom just because I just don't eat as heavy like this anymore because I did the 1% change. But in the beginning, yes, I could finish this whole meal and I would be fine. But what I said was, hmm, I'm just going to eat half. Okay, well, if I do that, I'm not going to have a toast and I'm just going to have that. Or if I do have that, I'm just going to have this and this. That's how you get your mind trained to going to something else. We were like, okay, well, I did eat that. So let me just have a smoothie. Or let me have one of my green drinks. Or let me have um, one of my kombuchas. Because I slowly, over time, 1% change got me to that point. But in the beginning, it was a little bitty. Okay, no drink with this meal. I'm just going to do the meal. Next meal. Um, I'm just going to do a kid's meal. I still get a drink, fry, all that. I'll do a kid's meal. So, this is how I did lose weight over the time. So, I appreciate you coming by and even staying to the end. Staying to the end, I'm going to list the gems that I mentioned right here. If you love it, hit that subscribe. Um, we're going to go on an adventure. We're going to be funny. I have funny videos. I'm going to be doing trendy little mukbangs like this. I'm going to do just, I don't know, really fun things. So this is what my channel is going to be about. It's going to be my lifestyle and how do you live this? Because sometimes it's just not the weekend that I gotta live the um I gotta live the healthy lifestyle. It's just not during the week. It's just not because we're about to go into Christmas, Thanksgiving, the holidays, all that. That's what I'm here for. We're gonna see me on vacation, being like, okay, how am I still getting in on vacation while being funny as while being funny as hell? 
and making you smile. If you like everything that I talked about today, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video. I'm trying to get to over a thousand subscribers. All right, till next time. One percent change every day. Y'all still here? Um, go watch my other video.